are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three metal to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round yeah. one. The speed and the angle is just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Let's go. Circle, circle. Keep that left hand up for me. Nice strike. Fighting behind a nice jab. Lead kick landed there by Lee. Relax, relax. Keep your hands. Beautiful down. kick. Oh, yeah, right hand. Bunches and bunches, bunches and bunches. Let's go. Nice leg kick. Quick jab. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Nice hook there by Lee. the well with that right hand, it's no good. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Jab is on point right now. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. That landed. Great defense. That punch had no chance. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Outside leg kick. I'm sure he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work. 
with the swelling that started to occur. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Head kick blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. The uppercut flails and misses. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Push kick there to the body. Under a minute to go. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Straight punch, that is useful. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Huge block there, and he comes through with a big knee. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again. Nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch-up. Reach the end of round one. All right, take a seat. Three. Listen, that was awesome. You really hurt him there. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily Ready. he made it to the end Ready. of that round. All right, second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see. Oh, his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, perfect head kick there. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, Pass to try to find that shot again. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. His nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Just over three minutes to go in round two. That is a damaging kick that lands. 
Body kick lands. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace at oh, What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to ride in with every passing shot. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Just over two minutes now to go the round. That landed. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Lee gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Oh! Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step backwards. What a phenomenal fight. Oh! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Establishing the jab. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Lee is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, man. oh nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. 30 seconds to go in the round. What a beautiful body kick. Now a kick to the body. Let's go. Ten seconds now to go in the round. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Third round underway. All right, next round is under. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Checks the leg kick. That shot there blocked. Oh, uppercut right through on the counter. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. 
These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this, and the huge connection by him there, he needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Way to sneak that elbow on the side of the bar. Lee's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring down. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight, Phil. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fight style. He has shown us that it's possible. And there's that jab. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Lee's now switching his stance. And that's some power there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh my goodness. Oh, back and forth we go. Lee's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Under a minute to go. Nice punch to the head. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tango tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? It's okay. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. We knew it was going to be. You ready to fight? You ready? Come All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, 
says that he continues to strike right on that cut. And the blood, I think, is becoming a real factor now. Yeah, the blood is becoming a factor. Because now, you start to worry about the blood going into the mouth, the blood going into the eyes. You just got to worry about the entirety of the face being covered from the cut. It, it, it's going to be hard for him to get through this. Missed with that right hand. All right, well, the local hospital might be busy later tonight. What an absolute war this has been. The Cutmen have done a pretty good job, but both guys are leaking in the face area. Yeah, they're working full. They're working full tonight. I mean, the Cutmen are having to try to piece these two together after every single round. But this has been fun. This has been a fun fight between two incredibly tough mixed martial artists, and they are laying it on the line. just bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be... All right, stop, so the ref stop, is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. Doctor talking to the referee right now, and... All right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun fight to this point. Let's Great see fight. how he deals with Great. this bad cut. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do that. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. That leg kick hurt. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice body kick there. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. That blood becoming a real factor. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, nice. Big body kick. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Lee's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You got to think the ringside position is going to get called in here in a moment. Tyler Ty here in the clinch. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Sidekick is true. Under two minutes to go. Oh, nice hook. It's amazing. One calf kick can do so much damage. Starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Back to the jab now. No good. Able to connect with the right hand there. Lee's an absolute mess. He's got to try to finish here. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, big left hand. Oh. Under a minute to go in round four. All right, so I don't have to tell the viewers the bruising on that thigh is getting more problematic by the minute. He just hasn't had any answer for that weapon tonight. He hasn't had any answer. I mean, he hasn't done anything to try and deter his opponent from throwing leg kicks. He has not countered. He has not checked. He has not done anything to make him think twice 
by throwing this kick, and that is why he finds himself in this situation. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Right. 20 down, five to go. All right, so somewhat remarkably, we have made it to the end of the round. Both fighters have been cut up severely. Yeah, and his corner's gonna have some work to do on him. And for as bad as he looked, Johns, his opponent is as beat up as he is. Right, I think that's part of the reason why the corner is not getting involved, because they feel like there has been a lot of damage sustained on the other side as well, as we look back at some of the replays. I mean, these guys just beat each other up. Both of them landed beautiful strikes over the course of that round, landing damaging punch, landing damaging kicks. So many different attacks led to all the blood that we are seeing on these two fighters. Gotta think the referee and the ringside physician are gonna be watching things closely as we begin this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Side kick. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Moved it a little bit, trying to stay out of But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Back and forth we go. Misses with the jab. In. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big punch land. Ooh. Lee's taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get a referee or even a doctor to intervene here. Nice kick to the body. Yet another huge kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Throw that hook. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. That's a nice jab by him there. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent crippled, but not out there. He's trying to keep his opponent face, but he's hurt very, very bad. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. All right, so at this point, maybe the ringside physician will indeed call the fight. Referee bringing him in. A look at that damage. Got to save the athlete from themselves. Too much damage. Stop the fight, ref. Not sure if the nose is broken or just busted up, but blood is splattered everywhere. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's the end of the fight. So that's a disappointing the right call. conclusion, but the right call. The right call, John. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. To play the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few.